a fine game by Lanier. Uh, Lanier, this game was a long one, definitely. Mm -hmm. You had to go to work. What did you feel were your chances coming out of the opening? Uh, well, it's a very solid opening, so I, I was just trying to equalize, of course, first. But then I think I got uh, some chances. I think uh, Bishop H4 was, was a bit careless, I think. Uh, it gave me uh, the chance to play this queen h5 and let's, at least... Let's get it on Yasser's board, if you don't mind, Yasser. It's, uh, it's there. Yes, uh, we, we agree with you wholeheartedly, Lanier. We thought that Bishop and it, Alejandro was the first to say, ooh, I'm not liking that move. And after queen h5, please continue. Yeah, I think at least, uh, I mean, black is, of course, very safe and, and, and I was able to create some on balance in the position. So uh, at least I could put pressure. And uh, uh, yeah, I think after h5, there is, it's always a bit uncomfortable for, for the white king because there is knight g4 everywhere and he cannot really move the, the pawns on the king side. Uh, I think still the position, it's, it's probably nothing too serious, but uh, already white is, I think it's under, under some pressure here. All right. At a certain moment, uh, there was a repetition. Was that just because of the time situation on the clocks before you played c5? You broke off the repetition with the move c5. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, get uh, closer to the, to the time control before I... Uh, but it was clear that I, that I would play on because uh, at this point already white's position is... It's uh, very unpleasant. So you consider this position to be very unpleasant here. We, we thought that you were better. We just didn't know how serious it was. Uh, yeah, I think uh, here uh, he was in time trouble and maybe I think around move 40 maybe I could, uh, I felt that I was very close to just winning on the spot. So I don't know if, uh, uh, yeah, like around here when I took on before, and yeah, here it feels like it's winning. Uh, maybe queen e1, I don't know if queen e1 was immediately winning, queen e1, queen f1, I mean instead of a3. Uh, uh, but I couldn't uh, calculate uh, till the end. I also had like uh, less than one minute. Uh, yeah, and then maybe something like queen c3, because if I take, king takes, uh, 94, king e2, and a3. Yeah, something like this is also maybe winning because he has to play king d3, and then I take on f2, king c3, uh, 94, king b4, then take on g3, and knight back to f5. It should be winning. It's a lot of fun. That feels yeah. good. Yeah. And also queen c3. I mean, after queen e1, queen f1, I think queen c3 also looks extremely strong. So just, uh, pardon me, just in this moment, a uh, lot to be said for this continuation, what you're just mentioning, Queen's right. League, looks very good for you also. Yeah, because yeah. a 3 94 is coming and pawn on d4 is also hanging and it's, it should be winning. So I think a 3 um, was a bit inaccurate, but uh, it's probably still winning because it's... yeah. Here, I would, I mean, taking a pawn with check, I'm not the one to argue against that move, but here it also felt like queen d3 with a similar thing, what you've just shown. Just that, take and... And, uh, you know, just bring your knight to this square. You pick up this. By the time white's over here yeah. picking up the pawn on a3, you're picking up g3 and g2 yeah. as g2, well. Yeah, this... So that would have been pretty okay. But you took the pawn. And then you found out it wasn't that easy until here we thought you missed a moment. Uh, right idea, wrong execution. You played queen c7 queen c5. with the move h4. Uh, h4 first. I saw it. H4 but first. <laughs> I even saw it, but uh, yeah, if, if he takes, then check on a2. and Correct. Yeah, that's just too easy, right? Yeah, check and a2. So we thought we would get yeah. dinner, as it <laughs> is. We got cold sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, somehow I made it too difficult. Well, you did win a fine game. I'd like to ask, on the, from a psychological perspective, when you're playing 
a low rated player. He's the lowest rated player in the field. Do you feel like, you know, even though I have black, got to press this player? Well, I, um, as I said, I, I wasn't really um, um, trying to win from the start or anything like that, for sure. I was just trying to equalize, but I, of course, wanted to, to, to get some uh, on balance in the position if, if, if I had the chance. And uh, uh, maybe Petrov is not the best opening in the world to, to get that, but uh, uh, at some point uh, I knew I could get some chances and I, I, was, I was ready to, to use them. My final question for you, opportunity to play in the Singfield Cup doesn't come along every single year. Big aspirations for this tournament? Uh, well, I, the main thing is just to try to, to, play, to play well, to play good games. I'm sure if I manage to, to play at my best level or close to that, um, the result is not going to be bad. So um, um, my last tournament didn't go so well, uh, uh, the World Cup in Russia. I mean, I got to play only two classical games. I didn't play that bad, but the result was, was bad because I, I was knocked out in the first round. So the main thing is just to try to uh, play well and um, hopefully I can get a good result at the end. We're looking forward to seeing you at your best. Congratulations on the win today. Thank good you. Good luck in the rest of your games. Thank you. Absolutely, Olinir. Well done.